word before we say anything else. <laughs> I love this workshop. So, hey, it's Elizabeth. I'm here with Sarah. What the hell? How the hell do you even say your second last name? I just answered a hey. It's hey. Robison. Hey, but it looks like Robison, but right. it is Robison. Oh, no okay, end. so I've been mispronouncing your name forever. Anytime I say your name, I've said it wrong. It doesn't matter. I answer to whatever. Okay, so we're here. It's the Naked Truth. I'm super excited to be here with Sarah, um, who I can't believe has never been on this show before. What's up with that? Bad planning. Bad, bad planning. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Well, you look super, super cute, and you are my, um, you're like my Veda uh, partner. I think we're probably the only ones who've done it, like, every day. Every day, yes, I think so. Woohoo! <laughs> and you looked really cute on your Veda video today. Ah, uh, thank you. So, how's your week going? Good, good, good. Just busy, just survival mode. That's where I'm at. Just sticking to the, the same old, same old. How about your week? It was okay. I ran out of gas today on the freeway. That was good. <laughs> how did, how, do, you, how do you run? I've only done that once in my life. And I was in college and I called my dad, who was an hour away, crying. And he said, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> well, the last time it happened to me, it happened because I didn't have money for gas. Oh. So, I mean, it was a long time ago. This time, I, I have been driving my mom's car when she wasn't here and I had filled her car up. Oh. oh, hello, Dale Cooper. I guess we have another guest on. Uh, but so I, so in my head, I was like, I have a full tank of gas, even though my car says you need gas, you need gas, you need gas. I wasn't thinking that <laughs> because I just put gas in a car, and so on the freeway. So I called AAA and they came and saved me. And I have to say, AAA is more fun when you're not 400 pounds. Well, but I was going to anyway. ask if you got numbers. If they if they hit on you. Uh, I didn't want numbers, but they're so much nicer because that is like the second time in the last couple months that I've uh, used AAA. And let me tell you, they used to like want to see my card and my driver's license, everything. Now they don't care. They're just like, okay, here, how can I help you? Sorry, cat, you gotta go. That's so weird to me. It is very weird. It is very weird. But because I don't think I have noticed those differences. I mean, they're. I don't know. That is weird, though. It's nice. A good weird. Sorry, the cat has decided that he really the wants to participate. Me. Yeah, and he doesn't, yeah, Gosh. don't even know the cat. So, um, okay, so I want to jump into community celebrations really quickly. What do we got? Jamie Jones, um, she became a certified CXWORX instructor. I'm not that totally that? sure what that is. It's a fitness thing, I'm sure, because oh, okay. she also on fitness. And so congratulations to her. And also, Jamie, make a video. Like, I haven't seen you in a long time. I want to see what's going on with you. Um, Gretchen and CCVSG and Amy Blankenship all celebrated their 18-month surgery. So I don't know how that happened because it just seems like Amy had surgery, like, yesterday. Um, Sarah wants to celebrate being on The Naked Truth. Yay! That's a good one. I like that one. It is. Carly Go Lightly got a surgery date September 21st, so congratulations to her. Um, Esther Royas, uh, she is celebrating getting to a weight she hasn't seen since the beginning of her second pregnancy 39 months ago on her pre-op diet. She has surgery this week, this week in uh, Tijuana. So congratulations, Esther. Esther, do you live near here? Tijuana is not that far from me. I like typically pick people up at the airport when they're going to Tijuana. It's not going to happen this week because probably you're already here because you're having surgery uh, this week. But And I'm going to South America. But do you live near here? Let me know. Um, oh God, Scotty is just being a smart ass because I get really irritated because on his video, he always talks about getting to goal in 33 weeks. Did you get to go? Did you get to go in 33 weeks, Sarah? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. He's like, did I mention 33 weeks? And I said, did I mention bite me? <laughs> oh. uh, Shauna Elliott goes to her first orientation session on Monday to start the process to revise from lap band to R and Y. I totally so, didn't know she was doing that. I didn't either. Yeah, I didn't know. Precious, who finally, I don't know why it took me so long to do this this week, because Precious has called me and texted me several times, but I didn't put her in my phone. So every time she calls me or texts me, I'm like, who is this? She's sending me this <laughs> really nice message. <laughs> 
but she is down 100 pounds since her surgery on October 19th. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Awesome. She looks incredible. Uh, Col Colleen Benyon is in Wonderland. She's down 110 pounds. Uh, awesome. Gretchen, wants to, <laughs> Gretchen wants to celebrate my mom being out of jail. Yeah, that's a whole other story if you don't know about that. But we'll celebrate that. And she, I was going to actually go to her house and do a video with her today, but she's not really not feeling well today. She has been um, really nauseous and throwing up all day, so we did not do that. Lauren Dayton had her three-year surge of anniversary. That's awesome. <laughs> Which is awesome. She looks she looks amazing. amazing. Mm -hmm. Incredible. And also, uh, Courtney, BSG Redesign Me, had her plastic surgery this week, so I want to give her a shout-out. Oh, and duh, our Amy had surgery um, on Monday. She is doing well. She's recovering. Um, I love well, you said our Amy, because that's true. I know. She is our Amy. Mm -hmm. But she lives way closer to you, and that makes me really sad. Yeah, you should be very jealous. Everybody should be very I'm jealous. jealous. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Lindsay Michelle Kalning got, I'm sorry if I'm butchering people's names. I like, I consider Sarah like a very close friend and I have been butchering her name forever. So don't take it personally. Everybody does. Uh, cool. Lindsay got uh, a surgery date of 929.16. She <laughs> has a YouTube channel that she started called Lighten Up Lens, L I N Z, to start making videos. Here's another name I'm going to butcher. Sorry, guys. Janice Thomeyer. Just got out of the hospital. Uh, she had a mini stroke. Um, the right side of her face, arm, and leg are effective. No cognitive issues. She's happy for the ability to think, talk, reason, and her memory is okay. And she starts physical therapy tomorrow. So I want to send her our love and good wishes. That's awesome. And so nice. I know. It's so nice that you get to see my cat's butt while I'm talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> she had, um, she had surgery in October of 2015, has lost 130 pounds. Her starting weight was 318 and her surgery was 300. Currently she's at 188. Um, so anyway, she says she's blessed to be part of the weight loss community. So I just want to send her good thoughts and prayers for her speedy recovery. Caitlin, uh, Caitlin's VSG journey hit Wonderland, which is so awesome. Uh, if you guys aren't watching Caitlin, do you watch Caitlin, Sarah? I have watched Caitlin before. Yes, I don't think I'm current with Caitlin, regular videos. Caitlin is awesome, and she's going to be a guest on The Naked Truth very soon. I will oh, go through that awesome. because I just booked a bunch of people. But she cracked me up in her video like last week where she was saying she was going out with her sister-in-law, I think, and went shopping at plus-size stores and realized she didn't have to be there. I'm like, dude, you ain't less than I do. I haven't shopped in a plus-size store in like two years. Why are you shopping at a plus-size store? So hopefully she realized she doesn't need to stop at plus-size stores anymore. That's a hard transition Chris to make, though. Yeah, but the first time you do it, you don't ever want to go yeah, back. You don't want to go back, yeah. yeah. Uh, Christy Lou Rue in Y uh, had her surgery on August 22nd. She had RMY. Congratulations to her. She's been huge. Uh, like Facebook and YouTube supporter, at least of me. Um, so I've known her for a while, but she just got her surgery. So congratulations to her. And then I have a special message from Bill Streetman that I need to pull up on my message. So if you guys don't know Bill, do you know Bill? Bill, I had on the Naked Truth last year. I met him at um, obesity help in Raleigh last year. He's the one who did like the one handed plank with me. If you saw that picture okay. and he biked from, he biked from Ohio to North Carolina. Save a mustache. And then he, no. Okay. But just look at him. Uh, on my that was page. random. Okay. But, um, so he, um, just completed a 468 mile, 468 mile. My old bike. That's ride. crazy. Um, for to uh, benefit WLSFA. Wow. So he raised thirteen hundred dollars, and you know what, people? He should be able to raise way more than that for riding five hundred miles. I mean, come on. <laughs> so he, he is. There are still donations being accepted, and I'll post about this on Facebook. It's at WLSFA.org. If you look for the causes tab on their website, you can click on Tour for Hope and. There's a donate button in the middle of the page. He said, "If each, I guess I have 1,300 friends on my Facebook page. If everybody donated 
ten dollars, that would be enough for one whole surgery. So oh, wow. um, Jennifer had talked to the people at WLSFA about doing a when we were in where were we? Where were we, Sarah? Nashville. Nashville. Um, about doing like doing a fundraiser through the Naked Truth to raise enough money for a surgery by the time of next year's conference. I haven't really started it because I have some questions for them that I hadn't heard back from them on yet. But you guys, let's pay it forward. Uh, I'm like totally freaking broke, but I'm gonna go donate a little bit today. We are fortunate enough to have this surgery. There are so many people who can't afford to do it. And um, if you can, just pay it forward a little bit. And I'll put this on my Facebook page and the Naked Truth Facebook page when we're done. So if you guys want to send questions for Sarah, I have plenty. We have, uh, you know, we have some that were submitted and I have plenty for her. But if you have questions while we're talking, you can do those. You can do them in the comments because I have two computers working today. I can see the comments. Oh, wow. We already have like a bunch of comments on the YouTube video. So let me oh, read these no. real quick. Um, <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> oh. Carly Go Lightly is watching. She says, hi, ladies. You both look gorgeous. I'm going to binge watch Sarah's channel now. So <laughs> uh, Wendy Allison, who's another person who's going to be on The Naked Truth from Australia, says, uh, Bill's awesome. He's such a brilliant advocate of weight loss surgery. surgery can't talk. Surgery. India RNY says hello. She's watching. Cleaved after 60 is watching for the first time. She just hopes we can't see her. No, you can see us. We can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, Lynn Tao. Is that how you say it? Lynn Throw. Is it so, T-H-O-W, right? W, but I, it, so she says, hey, she's watching. Gretchen. Oh, she's my girl. She's the mini, she's the mini Patty. She absolutely yeah. looks like a miniature Patty. She's yeah. like tiny, tiny, petite. Yeah. Looks so much alike. Um, Gretchen's watching and Amy's um, watching. She says, uh, lovely. she never watches live. So I love anyway. Amy too. Yeah. So you guys can post questions in the comments because that's active again. I didn't activate the Q and A, join the conversation here. You can also, as always, text me. Uh, your questions at, and I will say it slowly because everyone says I say it too quickly, 714-625-5663. So comment, text, whatever your questions for Sarah. So Sarah, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm trying not to be nervous. I mean, don't. Be yeah, I'm not really nervous, but I keep thinking, what questions is Liz going to ask me? I've opened myself up for scary, scary stuff. I want to ask you anything scary. We were we talked about way scarier stuff when we were on a hangout the other night. You have so yes. much stuff on me that I would not. Yeah, payback. I'm going to get you back. Yeah, if you, exactly. I mean, no, I'm just kidding. But so why don't we start out? And look, I just want you to know we have 27 people watching live, which is a lot. Oh, that's a lot of people. Thanks, guys. I'm going to cry. That's awesome. I was really so I worried about that. Uh, I know you were. So, so why don't you start out with just giving us your surgery stats and where you were when you started, what surgery you had, that kind of thing. Okay. Well, um, I feel like I'm making a video now. I started my journey on April the 26th, um, 2012. And at that time, I weighed in at 357 pounds. Um, that was not my highest. I honestly couldn't tell you what my highest was. Um, I think I went back later and asked at the doctor's office and uh, one of the times that I had been weighed in there was like 365, but who knows if I was higher than that or not. I don't know. I mean, I don't need to be higher. That 357 is plenty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, what? You're part, of, you're part of the club already, Sarah. You don't have yeah, to be. Right. Yeah. yeah. So um, initially I lost 180 pounds. The smallest I ever saw was 176. Um, I really didn't stay there very long. It was, I think it was right after I had my gallbladder surgery. Um, it okay, was just, now, so you, I, I didn't realize you had gallbladder surgery. So was that as part of weight loss surgery? I mean, after you had yes, that? Yes, I had weight loss surgery. Um, I think it was, I was like 16 or 17 months out when I had my gallbladder surgery. Um, and I'd been having issues for a while, but I kept putting it off and kept putting it off. And when they actually did the surgery, um, the doctor told me afterwards that my gallbladder was so full of stones, he did not think he was going to get it all out <laughs> in one piece. He said the stones were just spilling out. Um, 
So and it was a good thing I had that done. If you hadn't had a baby, I had my gallbladder out after I had a baby, but for me, the pain was worse than having a baby of gallbladder stuff. It, it was definitely not fun. Um, and it's so funny because it all just kind of lined up. I had my gallbladder surgery. We went on a cruise. And then a couple months later, I got pregnant. Um, and I was so thankful that I had my gallbladder out before I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got pregnant. It was the end of January 1st. I mean, the end of December 1st of January, somewhere in there in 2013-14. Um, I gained about 40 pounds then. And then I gained another 10 pounds after I quit breastfeeding. And I really got messed up with breastfeeding. I, my di I always couldn't handle dairy, and my diet changed a whole lot then. Um, and then I've get, gained about another five to ten pounds. It kind of varies, but I'm in the process now of trying to get that regain back off. So, um, yeah, and yeah. we'll talk. About it. So Tanya's watching. So say hey to Tanya. Uh, hey Tanya. <laughs> Is she really? Huh? I can't believe she's watching. Okay. I can't either because it's her daughter's birthday today. I birthday, think they have yeah. birthday party. So happy birthday to Victoria. And it's also Amy's daughter is having her birthday party today. And I don't know which daughter it is because I'm a horrible BFF. So. I didn't even know that. So, yeah, I feel bad. So we have a couple of birthday parties today. And then Sarah's son is coming up on his two-year birthday, Oz. Mm -hmm. And just so you guys know, because we said it here first, my granddaughter is actually a one month exactly younger than Oz, and they will be getting married at some point. <laughs> so Sarah and I will actually be related. So Vivian and Oz that, yeah. will be married. Be prepared for that in like 25 years. But. Yeah. <laughs> And Sleeved Mom of Boys is watching. She says Sarah's new to her, so she's going to check out your channel. Aw. Awesome. So did you had VSG, right? I had VSG. I'm sorry. I didn't even say that. I did. And, um, you know, it's hard when you go to make those decisions. And I went back and forth about it. But basically, the whole journey got started for me um, because we couldn't. were having issues um, having children. I had been overweight my entire life. Um, and... I mean, my, I weighed 240 in the eighth grade. If you've watched me at all, I say that repeatedly. I weigh less now than I did then. Um, so I've just always been big. Um, and I didn't, um, I really didn't think that um, getting pregnant would be an issue for us. When, you, when you're when you big, you just think, we won't have issues. I've always been big. It's not like I gained this weight overnight. I know that sounds like stupid logic, but I really thought we would just get pregnant. And we really wanted kids. Do you, um, you don't have PCOS, do you, or you do? That's a whole issue. I don't know. They have told me, um, the doctor had told me that they thought that I had PCOS, and they treated me as if I had PCOS. But you don't have any of the features of PCOS. I mean, usually there are things about PCOS that you can tell in somebody's appearance, which you don't yes. really have. Yes, and I don't have those. I do have some crazy facial hair sometimes, um, but that's the only thing. I could pluck every day. Thanks for sharing, Sarah. You're welcome. Uh, but yes, they never did anything. Um, but the more I researched that, I really think my obesity just, I had some insulin resistance with that. Um, so, but that's basically what led me to BSG. And I pretty well picked that one um, because I didn't want to have any malabsorption with pregnancy. I don't want to have it. I mean, you can have issues anyways, but in my mind, I felt like this choice I was making, you know, I wouldn't have any, the vitamin deficiencies as, as many vitamin deficiencies, maybe. I don't know. And I have had some still, but, um, and I was doing that in a video last week. I was actually kind of surprised at your yeah. deficiencies. So you're like, how, how far out are you? Like three, four, four years? Four years out. Mm -hmm. okay. And any time I've ever had, uh, actually four, it'll be five in April. So about four and a half years. Um, Anytime I've ever had blood work since having the surgery, my vitamin D is almost always low and my B12 is usually off. But this is the first time my iron has been bad. Mm -hmm. So, and I actually didn't get the numbers on that. So I don't know how low it is, but apparently it was pretty low. So, okay. So just real quick, we have more people watching. See, you have oh. lots of people watching, Sarah. You were so worried about that. So Roxanna Griffin's watching. Uh, you remember her? You met? Did you meet her in Nashville? Oh, yeah, I did. She lives in um, Smyrna. Wherever that so is. That's, you don't know where that's at. That's um, about, I mean, that's a few minutes from Nashville. It's basically Nashville. 
She says, ladies, you're both looking awesome. I'm super excited to see Liz smiling and Sarah, you are hilarious. Always making me laugh. <laughs> I love her. She's a good girl. Rhea Reloaded is watching. She says, kisses to both. Um, Esther VSG track says, hi, ladies. Love the show. And I'm stoked that I'm seeing it live. Tanya says she didn't expect to be home this early, but is happy she made it. And so are we. Mama RNY says, you both look gorgeous. Love the show. Uh, and she has a question, so I'm just going to throw it out now, even though okay. it's like not Florida. We have other questions, but just because it's okay. in the Tara, what's been your biz biggest obstacle during your weight loss journey? Uh, I, probably just keeping the weight off. I mean, uh, you, have been, you, guys, you guys may not have watched um, Sarah's videos, but Sarah is somebody who just is like so on it. I mean, you try really, 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 really hard. <laughs> I know, and it's killing me. It's killing me. <laughs> Tanya has this saying that, and she said it the other day in her video, that it really sucks that she has to work this hard to be this chubby. Yes, I, and she's I, not chubby at all, but that's exactly how I feel. And when I make videos, the things that I tell people, it's so true and so honest. And I know people are thinking I'm lying when no, I make food yeah, videos. I tell you that nobody is thinking you are lying. You I know, but sometimes I think I'm lying. I'm like, how can I be you this sad? Come on and every day and lie about it. I mean, you just stop making videos. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess. Nobody. That's what I. You know, I would do too, probably. Nobody's sitting there thinking, oh, my God, she is such a liar. I know she is really eating a dozen donuts and drinking champagne in her bed. <laughs> Well, you know, it's so funny because in the beginning, and I was just telling my best friend this today, that sometimes I went to this space. Wait, wait, wait you're what? Um, you know, my best friend that lives here. My best friend that lives here. Um, I know. I, w I was watching. I went through a phase where I wouldn't um, sub to new people because I was pissed off at them because they lost weight so fast and so easy. And they, I felt like they were judging older people. Because I can remember watching videos and people were like, oh, I'll never eat that. Oh, I'll never do that. Oh, I'll never gain the weight back. And I remember thinking that. I remember thinking, oh, I won't. I mean, I won't gain. I may gain some weight, but I won't gain 60 pounds. You know, and then here I am, and it's hard to get back off and doing everything in my, you know, in my hands that I can do. And then, I remember one time, my actual video for this week, my update video, the topic's going to be the different stages of being a weight loss surgery YouTube Facebook. Ooh, person. I love it. And I still remember, and I'm so shamed by this, the day Tanya posted something on Facebook where she said something, somebody was asking something about how many calories people ate. And I don't, I think she even just said 1,200. It might have been 1,700, but I think it was 1,200. And I'm like, I can't imagine ever eating 1,200 calories. <laughs> <laughs> like, you yeah. think that stuff. You absolutely think that stuff in the beginning. You think that there's no way because I can remember. Yeah, I can remember eating like three and four hundred calories. You know, and my sister in law freaking out. She's like, "You you have to have like eight hundred calories in your diet for your heart to properly work." I'm like, "Well, all I'm telling you is this is working for me." You know, and then I think now I'm like, "Gosh, I would." I'd be a basket case if I ate 300 calories. Well, I think you, I mean, you have been eating too few calories for a while. Yes, and I, I think that's probably been some of my issue that I think that's why this current life change is hopefully helping because I, I do better when I eat more calories for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you were overweight pretty much your whole life. Uh, listen, right? I chunked up between two and four. I tell everybody that. It's true. I was so cute and skinny. And then somewhere between two and four, I just chunked up. Okay. So how do you, and and we've talked about this a little bit, but how do you feel like that impacted you in your life? How did you <clears throat> deal with that or did it impact you? Well, I will say this. I had a very, and thankfully, I'm so blessed. I had a very unusual um, obese childhood, I think. I, I, all, I mean, I know somebody somewhere I'm sure made fun of me. But I was always a very confident person. I got that from home. My parents constantly told me how good I was, how beautiful I was, how smart I was. It didn't matter how big I was, you know, that kind of stuff. And weight was never really discussed in my home as far as a negative, a negative, being negative. Um, I, in saying all that, I was like 16 when I think I went on my first real diet. and it And it still wasn't a diet. It was more of just a... I really wanted to be healthy. 
Um, and it's so different in the South. I mean, particularly having like lived in the South and lived in California. I mean, it's just so different. The way you eat is, is. very different. It is. It is. And I always had lots of friends. Um, of course, I went to small schools. Um, and I never made, I never had trouble making friends. I never had trouble. Um, I, I don't know. I was just always outgoing. I did everything I wanted to do. My weight didn't hold me back. The last few years before I had surgery, my weight held me back some. But and before that... Um, I, don't, I mean, like rides, you know, like we go somewhere, of course, I'm not a hugacious roller coaster rider anyways, but that kind of stuff, or, uh, we would go, we were supposed to go exercise and I didn't want to go cause I was 400 pounds and exercise was uncomfortable. I didn't want to walk. I didn't want to walk with my best friend. That's not, you that's ever not feel like, and this has just been, I don't know why it's just coming clear to me now. It's like, I didn't even know what I didn't know that I was missing out on. I mean, things that I thought were okay. Yeah. I didn't yeah. even know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even like things I've always, of course, I had a job where I was in and out of the floor all the time. I um, mean, I always crawled around and did act, active stuff with the kids. What? I was gonna say, that sounds interesting where you have a job on the floor where you're crawling around. That's oh, okay. hush. Hush. <laughs> um, but I always, you know, I was always crawling around and doing stuff with the kids. But it's so funny how much more active I am now. Even when I was active then, it's just easier for me to jump out of the floor, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you yeah. just couldn't. Do, I mean, I didn't realize how tiring it is to plug around that much weight. But so, I think when I got to college is when I first realized that I was bigger. Before that, it didn't matter. I mean, I always, I mean, and I had friends in college too, but I don't know. I, I mean, I, I just did not have the negative impact that you hear so many people talk about. So did you, so the really, the real driving force behind you having weight loss surgery was because you wanted to have a baby. Mm -hmm. You have a beautiful, sweet, cute little baby. He's well, pretty not, good. Not so little anymore. But. No, he's a big boy. Um, did you go directly to weight loss surgery, or were there other things that you looked at along the way? Uh, I mean, I had done. Of course, I had. Of course, I was older now, and I had. I had been on and off diet pills. Oh, there are you. Know, I don't actually even know if you don't mind saying. Oh no, I don't care. I am. Let me think about how I'm. I'm 36. Okay. I had to think about that. So I'm 36. Oh God, it just kills me when I have friends who are the same age as my stepkids, where I think of them as my peers, where I think of my stepkids yeah. as mine. Well, I don't think okay. about it either. Although I know I always make you feel old when I'm like, wait a minute, how old are you? <laughs> um, but yes, I've been on all the diet pills and I had, um, <laughs> Oh, I know. Oh, Let me tell you this. Right before, so so the lady that we were seeing, the nurse practitioner, we were or the OBGYN we were seeing, um, trying to get pregnant, she had suggested weight loss surgery, and I was like, no. She suggested it again, and I talked to Ed, and Ed was like, no. And then we went to a couple seminars, and then I talked to my parents, and everybody was like, no. And then they realized how much you know how important this was, and you know we really wanted a baby, and I felt like this was the way that was going to get us there, and I needed to be healthy too. Um, but the six months pre-op diet that you, so you have, have to six do, months. I had six do. months. I had made a promise to myself that if I lost weight at all, and I'm not talking like lots of weight, I'm talking like 10, 15, 20 pounds, I would not have the surgery because I didn't want to have the surgery. And I, I always ate fairly well anyways, but I, boy, I was rocking it out. I was really strict. I was working out. I had gotten a gym membership in September, the before I had surgery in April. And my cousin was a um, what's the person that helps you work out? A trainer. He was a trainer, and so he hooked me up. And I mean, I was working out all the time. And I said to myself, "If you lose this weight," and I really thought, I really thought I would lose some weight and I wouldn't go through the surgery. I didn't lose a pound. I think I even actually gained in a little months, bit in the six months. See, I really do. And there's think something wrong with me. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean it that way, but there are well, people that I've met along this process who, like, do, I mean, I do not do everything right. I did not do everything right. And then I look at these people like you and some other people who do absolutely everything right and have such a struggle, because I feel like pre-op, all I had to do was, like, not drink a Coke and I would lose 10 pounds in a week. I wish I could do that. Oh, See, well, I already was not, do. I, I've never been much of a soda drinker. I mean, there's so many, because people had told me when they found out I was having surgery, mm -hmm. I had several people say stuff to me like, if I ate what you ate in a day, I would lose weight. I mean, and it, it's that way now too, but I just, 
I, and it worked out because I really would not have had the surgery. And that was the best thing that we did, you know, I've done for myself. Um, so it worked out. But I hear people, I watch videos and people are like, yeah, I lost like 50 pounds before I had surgery. And I'm like, wow. Because I mean, if I had done that, I wouldn't have had surgery. Yeah. We had to lose, as part of our program, we had to lose 10% of our body weight, they said, before they would approve us for surgery. Mm -hmm. And I really did that with very subtle changes. I mean, over time. And, um, and I just hear the things you post that you eat. And it's like, that is, you, it sucks. Are, you are on the struggle <laughs> bus. I am. I am. But I really think, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's metabolic. I don't know if it's genetics. I don't know if it's hormones. Well, it is genetic. I mean, they're, they can actually, te they could, if they wanted to, they could do a genetic test on you and see pre weight loss surgery. If you, how fat, not how, but if you were going to lose weight faster and more after surgery than other people. I mean, there is a genetic well, that been awesome. to that. I mean, I don't think they do it, but I, I know that I was one of those people mm -hmm. and not everybody is. And, and I think that has to be really frustrating. And one of the things about you that is just so amazing is you just keep plugging away and <laughs> some days better than others, but yeah. <laughs> so Tanya, Tanya had a question for you on the Naked Truth page, which was, Sarah has worked so hard, and she's had more than her fair share of challenges, yet she, yet she never quits. Where do you get your drive and motivation to keep trying? She is going to freaking make me cry. Well, you can't I be on her. her. I know, I know. Um, well, it's going to sound super, well, it's super cheesy, and I know not everybody wants to hear it, but I have a really strong faith. Um, and I, I, I'm telling you, I'm going to cry. I would not be where I am right now if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for God. And I'm, and I know a lot of people frown on that and they don't want to hear it. I don't frown on it. I think we have a different perspective, but I don't, but I thought I, I totally, but, um, I'm telling you, you know, it, 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 it always frustrates me sometimes because my timing and God's timing are not the same thing. <laughs> um, and so I've had to learn that the very hard way. And, and, you know, now my, I have a motivation of Oz, too. And, you know, I, he is – Ed and I both have a weight issue. Um, and it just kind of runs in my family. And he's going to have those issues. And I so badly want to empower him. Um, you know, he's going to get the – he's going to get at home what he needs. Um, but I want to teach him to make the right choices. And, you know, I think the world is cruel and – I, I've, I'm probably lucky that I grew up in the day and time I did, because I think if I had grown up in the day and time now, even with my sparkling personality, um, I don't. I probably would would have been made fun of, and I probably would have been mistreated. Maybe I don't know, because um, people are so mean and and hateful. And I, I have a friend who doesn't live near me, but she posted on Facebook last week that she had her little boy started kindergarten. He's very big. Her whole family is very big. Her husband actually has giantism. And, uh, but they're just, she, and she's really overweight and the kid is too. But she w w talking about how that she, he wouldn't tell her why he didn't want to go to school. And he finally told her and she never said, but I know that's what it was. And she was talking about how mean the kids were and how bad they make fun of her. And it just broke my heart. And I keep thinking, I don't want that for Oz. I mean, they're going to make fun of him. Kids are going to get made fun of for something. Um, but I just don't want it to be weight. <laughs> so that, I had that force too. I just don't want him to. I'm not a bear, embarrassed about being an overweight parent, which I guess I probably should be. And there may come come a time that I would be, but I'm going to be really active with him. And so maybe he won't, you know, even if I'm not back at 180 pounds, maybe he won't. I just re uh, it popped up in a Facebook memory yesterday. When I first started out, I did a video with my son when he was still at home. Oh, about that's one of the first ones I watched of yours. And yeah, and he was, I mean, I watch it now and I realize, number one, I'm talking for him all the time because that's what I do. And number two, you know, I mean, he was probably saying the things I wanted to hear, but I really don't think all the things that I thought were a big issue for him were a big issue. I mean, he's like, nobody cares about your parents. <laughs> yeah. focus on your parents. I mean, but what bothered me was when, you know, he's, 18 and he comes home after Christmas and I'd already had weight loss surgery and lost, lost enough weight. And I was like, you want to go to Disneyland? He's like, mom, I thought you hated Disneyland. I'm like, I don't, I didn't hate Disneyland. I just couldn't do it. And I was embarrassed. And 
you know, but it's all those things that I miss that you are not going to miss with your son. And, um, well, that's what I hope. And that really is, you know, that, that's what I want. And I want him, you know, that's it. And so I, just want, I actually sent him, I actually sent my son a Facebook message that he's never going to talk about because we don't talk about this kind of stuff. <laughs> but a post came up over during the week that showed like three pictures of me at like one of them was like my photo that started me. It was at my mm -hmm. stepdaughter's wedding where I was like, holy fucking shit, I have to do something. <laughs> and then it was like August 25th, three years ago. So August 25th, two years ago. So after I'd had surgery, but just barely August 25th last year. And then it just so happened that that day last week, I had taken a picture of myself doing a handstand at you the gym. that picture, by the way. I know it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And I sent that to him and he was like, Oh my God, I'm so proud of you, mom. And I was like, you know what? I am just so the, the happy this other than being his mom, this weight loss is the thing I am most proud of in my life. And that I could show him that I could do this hard thing. That was my thing forever. I mean, it's just like my thing that I am most proud of in my life. That's awesome. And you should and your son is your son is never even going to know that you stop. <laughs> I won't. I promise. I'm going to try so hard not to. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. I'm not going to. <laughs> stop. Okay. And let me, uh, let me go to some of the other questions just cause I have 9 million questions for you and I want to make sure I at least get the ones that people have. Um, so Takesha positive girl gets fit who is another person who's going to be on the naked truth soon says to you, I will have to say that your videos keep me going. You are always open and honest about your ups and downs throughout your journey. No question, but I do hope you know how amazing you are. Love and hug. I love you. I do love her. And, um, I, I think everybody feels like they bond with her, but she is my sister. She is but, my yeah, I mean, sister. She has, she has such a bright light and you have she that does. exact same light. She, um, I tell you what it is, God, people. I'm telling you, <laughs> she is my sister, and she's just a good, good, good person. And um, she works it out. And so many good things have happened for her. Yes. Woo. Yeah, I, she's blessed. She is a blessed girl. Now you don't live that. She lives in Tennessee too, right? Yeah, she does. She's not that far from me. I know. And there's like a handful of us that actually, well, live. I say handful. There's a bunch of people that live in Nashville. That I keep saying, how am I coming to see y'all? But I haven't done it yet. So I need to. I need to. But I did get to meet her and Roxanne um, when we were at WSFA. Yeah. So let's talk about um, let's talk about meet and greets just a little bit. All right. So I know one of the I mean, I had watched your videos. Somebody I don't even know how I found you because you didn't subscribe to me. And usually, unless it was somebody somebody recommended, I only subscribe to people. <laughs> but I think somebody threw your name out as somebody to watch of their favorite YouTubers, and that's when I started watching you. It like could have been anybody because I'm so famous. We're so famous. <laughs> and, but it was right after you had your son. I mean, it was pretty early on. It was and um so, but the way I got closer to you was you had made a video about going to WLSFA and being nervous because you didn't know anybody. Yes, 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 yes. And Amy and I were talking about that when we were in Chicago for my 50th birthday. And we're like, we need to text her right now. We need to start talking to her right now. And so that's what we did. I'm sure glad you did. And then I still wasn't that close to you. And then I had put out before I was going back to Bentonville in Arkansas, I was like, Okay, guys, I have like a day that I need to like have a place to stay. Does anybody want to visit well, <laughs> them? And you responded to me. I remember like when I was like right in the middle of helping uh, Brian move. And you're like, oh yeah, totally, come stay with me. Yeah, I loved it. And you were just like such an absolute delight. So there are a lot of there's a meet and greet coming up here in Southern California, and there are a lot of. It seems to me that there are a lot of new people coming to this versus a lot of the, you know, more veterans. So tell people about that experience for you and how to make yourself more comfortable going into it. Just put yourself out there. I think um, it's so, well, first of all, if you don't, if you're not making videos, you need to make videos because I really, or at least comment on videos um, because there's so many people that you think that don't know you or that you don't know them or, and it doesn't even matter. You were like one of the most popular people at uh, 
Nashville. Well, this is my theory on that. Here's my theory. So my theory is, is that <laughs> it's because I'm old school. So I'm four years, four and a half years out. So there was a whole bunch of us that came in pretty close to the same time. You didn't really know a lot of those people right. that well. And those are the people that I knew. So it seemed like I was really popular. Well, there was all these new people that I, I got pregnant with Oz around that time. And I kind of mentally checked out. I was still making videos, but I wasn't subbing to anybody new. And all those people knew you. And then they were like, wait a minute. Why don't I know her? And how's it that she knows those really popular people that are really old? Anyways, <laughs> that's my theory on that. That's why I seem so popular. Well, I think um, part of it is just because of who you are as a person. I'm just saying it's not just about that. <laughs> I think you just love me a little bit, but I'm going to take it I anyway. Do. And because when you day drink, you are hysterical. <laughs> uh, it's because mama don't get out too much, okay? So sometimes you've got to have a glass of wine. Oh, geez. Uh, but it was so many advice. Any other advice for people who are just coming into that? Because there are I mean, a lot just of. Just put yourself out there. I mean, just talk to people, strike up conversations. Because I do think, I mean, I was so nervous about it. And had it not been for you and Amy and Patty, I probably would have had a heart attack. But there was way more people there that I was way more closer to than I is way more closer. Even a, I don't know. I said it anyways. Um, that I that I didn't even know. I don't know. There was so much more of a bond there with people. I don't even know. And people that had always made comments on my videos, but I, you know, I'd never seen them or talked to them before. I don't know. You go up to people. I mean, it's just great. And I think if you have the opportunity to do it, do it. I think. It's just awesome. I mean, just got to meet so many people, and it's just I don't really, I don't really think those true friendships develop until you meet somebody in person. Oh yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah. So and I don't think anybody's fake necessarily on their videos, but it's so funny how you see somebody and you think you know somebody and you're going to connect with somebody, and then you don't really. But then there's other people that you thought, I don't know if I'm really going to like this person. Or I just don't know. And then you meet them and you're like, instant connection. You know what I mean? I mean, I can't even think of anybody specific off of my head, off the top of my head, but there was just certain people. I don't know. You just not, I mean, them. not everybody, and I think this is something that people should be aware of before they go into meet and greet for the first time, is, you know, those of us who have been super morbidly obese our whole lives probably have a few issues around <laughs> thing. Yeah. And where someone may be very outgoing, you know, in their videos, they may get anxious in a situation yes. where yes. there's all these people. So, yeah. You, and, and it's also, I mean, it is a little weird when somebody knows everything about you and you don't know. Oh, anything yeah. About them. So, yeah, because people will come up to me and say, oh my gosh, I love you. And I always come in your videos and I love eyes. And it dawned on me for a second. I was like, they know Oz. Like, I, I realized for a second that I do this. I put myself out there. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I hadn't really thought that through. This, this, that leads into it because I think, well, I think I do it way more than you do, but I'm like a bit of an oversharer, particularly lately on my videos. But Rhea Reloaded has a question. Speaking of crying, who do you think has cried more in videos, Sarah or Liz? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say you, but. I have been making videos for a very long time. It'd be a tie. I'm telling you. So just only because you've been making videos longer than me. Oh. But if you keep this up, Liz, you're definitely going to win. No, I'm done crying. <laughs> I am so done crying. Um, um, and Gretchen, I just have to say, I must have given her a raise this week in what I pay her because her comment is, Liz, you're the youngest 50-year-old I've ever met. Oh, it's true. Aww. So, and she also says for you, Sarah, trust me, Oz is watching everything you do, even at this young age. My five-year-old says, I'm more fun now. You are a fantastic role model, model for your very lucky son. And you're going to be amazing. You're going to be an amazing mother-in-law for my granddaughter. <laughs> We're going to have so much activity and fun We're together. So much fun. Um, so Sleeved, uh, what is it? Sleeved after 60 posted that she's planning for surgery but she's been dieting for 50 years. From what I hear in videos, eating disorder is not often mentioned. Not sure why it's not. It's not like we become 100 pounds overweight because we don't know about nutrition. Most people I know who are morbidly obese have a PhD in nutrition and weight loss. Yeah. It's not because we don't know how to eat. We can't keep up with loss. Yeah, it's very true. Uh, but it's also the one thing that I noticed because I, am de I definitely have used food to cope with feelings forever is 
you after you have weight loss surgery and you go to do that, you are very much more aware of it, which leads you to be able to work through it a little bit and make a decision. Yeah, I agree with that. Do you feel like it's you have, a weird spot to be, huh? Do you feel like you emotionally eat? I would have told you no, um, probably before weight loss surgery, but it's a but yes, absolutely, I do. <laughs> I've had, I mean, I, I probably should have done some therapy. I have not done that. Um, but there's a lot. I mean, there's this, the mental part of it is way harder to me, even though I'm saying I'm struggling to get 50 pounds off. But the mental part has been way harder, I think, than anything else. And I think that comes along with emotional eating and just. So I've asked like five of the questions. Oh. And I have like 100 more. But, and we're like at, we only have 14 minutes left. So. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Okay. I'm going to do the Facebook questions real quick that we still have. And then I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about what you're doing now okay. to work on this regain. And then if we have time for more stuff, we will. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to throw this question out. There. Well, it's not a question. Yeah, I guess it is a question. So beautiful Alicia says, can't wait to see you. <laughs> Will you sing a song, please? <laughs> Tell or give she... Elizabeth permission to post my karaoke video from Nashville. <laughs> Oh, you guys. I'm not singing. I love you, though. Tell her I love her. You are, oh, I can so tell her I love her. Amazing. Okay, I have to tell you, at this, I don't know, what was it, like the lesbian lipstick bar or something? That was, we, I didn't realize yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. Good times. Ever, I mean, who knew how many amazing singers we had in our group? But, Sarah, right. you just freaking owned it. <laughs> can I've been that? singing can I post like too. Can I post that Long video? Time. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, so I'll post that later, you guys. It was actually um, horrible, too. I'm so off. Be, uh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. When it's carry out, it doesn't matter. I started day drinking that day around 10 o'clock, and that was probably 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> I didn't stay much longer after that. No, oh. no. Amy got you home safely. Yeah. <laughs> um, Gretchen wants to know what your favorite NSV has been. Having a baby. That's my favorite. I know that's cheesy, but it's true. I mean, that's what the whole, because every time I think about goal, I'm like, oh, crap. When am I going to hit goal? And then I have to stop and I'm like, hello, you did you did that two years ago. You know, that's what this was about for me. You know, it really wasn't about a number or a size. Yes, I would love to have those things. I would love to be in a certain size or be a certain weight. But in all honesty, it was just Oz. I mean, he was, that was my, so that was my victory. Where'd this oh, name come from? Oz. Well, um, my husband's granddad, his name is Osler Simmons, and that is a horrible name. And we had thought about naming him Osler and calling him Oz, and we just both hated it. But the more we talked about naming him Oz, we were like, gosh, I just really love Oz, and it just stuck. So that's it. I also really love Judy Garland, and I also really love The Wizard of Oz, but that is not why he is named that. But everybody thinks that. What's his middle name? Morgan, which was my grandmother's maiden name. Very nice. My first husband, his, what was it? I think his grandmother's name was Ruth. And I was like, that is such an old lady name that I was like, not into that name at the time. And that's what he wanted to name a baby. And then turns out my grand, my son-in-law's grandmother's name is Ruth. So her name is Vivian Ruth. I love Ruth. I think that's adorable. It is. I mean, it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us about, so you you got pregnant, you gained weight during <laughs> pregnancy, which is expected. Yeah. He has a, uh, does he have a dairy? He does. We have a dairy. I, I, honestly, we have not, he has to be two before he can be actually tested. Uh -huh. uh, we had a lot of reflux issues. We have a lot of choking issues. We have a lot of suck, swallow stuff going on when he was little. And at first I thought it was just reflux, but it just kept getting worse and wasn't getting better. And I was breastfeeding, although he wouldn't latch on, which is another issue. I really think we have some oral stuff going on too. That's just from a background of working with children, but, um, like a praxy or something or you just, just some issues. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, he, he just was having issues and I don't know where they come from or why, but we, um, what was I saying? I lose my train of thought. Anyways, he yeah. so had this dairy sensitivity. So I had to completely wipe out dairy. And when I was my, most successful with losing weight, 
probably about 85, 90% of my diet is dairy. So it was, it was a really hard transition. And I, that's when I gained most, I, not most of the weight, but that's when I really started gaining weight was I was just geared for, because I had to pump all the time and I was focusing all my energy on just making this breast milk. And I quit, quit thinking about how many carbs were in something. I was just eating a buttload of sweet potatoes because sweet potatoes were supposed to be good for inducing milk, producing and, milk. So I was just, and they taste really good. Gosh, they're delicious. I haven't had a sweet potato in a long time now. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, but that's really what happened. I seriously, because I breathe up. My best friend's always like, you know what? You didn't have any issue. I mean, obviously, I overate some when I was pregnant. But um, especially toward the end, I start letting myself have whatever. But it really was when I was breastfeeding. I just was eating whatever I had to to make sure that I had enough milk for eyes, which is an excuse, but it's true. And that's what happened. So, here I am just trying to get it off. So we came back from Nashville and we started a little accountability like text group. I don't remember how long it lasted. I think it was me, you and Patty and Amy. Right. And every yeah. day you would post your stuff. And I was like, Jesus Christ, she's eating like nothing. I mean, you were eating like 800 calories, right? I know. I know. And Cause Amy kept saying, I don't understand how you can eat so little. I'm like, I don't know. He eats like 1700 calories and she's the thinnest of all four of us. I know. I know. <laughs> Um, so you were doing that, but it wasn't necessarily keto. It no. And I mean, different. in all honesty, I guess, I mean, low carbon keto is not that different except for the fat increase. Yeah. Um, and I never really paid that much attention to my fats until now, but for the last 18 days, that's what I've been doing. Um, and I don't know, of course, a lot of people frown on that, uh, Tanya and I both have been doing it. I know you say that, and but it's like, I don't hear them. I mean, I feel like that's a pretty common diet. It is, but I think people think it's a fad diet and it's something you can't stick to. And I don't know long term what it's going to look like, but I'm not unhappy with it right now. And I'm telling you, I've only lost seven pounds. Only um, seven pounds. How long eight, I weighed this morning. I've lost eight pounds. I mean, yes, I know. Eight, eight pounds is a pounds and you can lose eight pounds overnight. Don't talk to me like that. Okay. <laughs> I can lose I eight pounds. No comment. My diuretic prescription runs out. But I mean, yeah. my weight is like 200. I haven't lost eight yeah. pounds from that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, but um, I really, I, there are some changes in my body. And when my in laws came today, who haven't seen me since June, she made the comment about she could tell that I had lost some weight and it's not, I mean, most people don't know I'm doing this, but you know, my best friend has said something to me several times. I mean, she knows, but she's like, I'm telling you, I don't care what the scale says. You're losing weight. And my clothes are fitting different. So what so, are your, so what is defined keto? So I think I heard Tanya, Tanya posted a video. Uh, I don't know. I watched it yesterday. I don't know when she posted it, but that she is also doing keto and you guys have been, you know, sort of doing that together and I think mm -hmm. that she is less than 20 net carbs a day yes that's what I'm doing too and so it's um, moderate protein high fat and low carb so it's basically just keeping your carbs under 20 any day and if you research low carb that's usually for under 100 for most people yeah so that's a lot that's a lot less yeah. So are you now that you're eating more fat? Cause that's the only way when you would talk about what you were eating and you would say, how can I get more calories? I mean, to me, based on what you're eating, the only thing I think of is like eat stuff with more fat, which I have yeah. never, I mean, I eat tri-tip. It has a lot of fat. I mean, I eat meat with a lot of fat on yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so how many calories are you doing now? Excuse me. My calorie is set for 15 or 1600. I Oh, no, that's like I twice should know. As as, that's like twice as much as you were eating before. I know. You think I would know for sure. I think it's actually like 1580 something. Um, and I have gotten that not every day, but most every day. And when I haven't gotten it, it's still been at like 13, 1400. That's awesome. Because I don't know how um, you were. I honestly, I don't know. I, I, I wasn't increasing my fats. I know that. Because I was just eating really low carb. Um, I don't, I haven't eaten any fruit at all since I've been on this. And again, I don't know how long term I can keep that up. I'm not a huge fruit eater, but if I want an apple, I don't want to not be able to say, Hey, yeah, you can't have that apple. Um, 
But yeah, yeah. as no, far I mean, as the card part, that's not really that different. I was already not eating bread. Yeah. Yeah. Or pasta. So look at this. I only got through like one tenth of the questions I had. That is so funny. And it's already been an hour. So I'm going to ask just a couple quick things. If you had okay. like one tip for newbies who are starting out, what would it be? I always tell people to make YouTube videos, get involved. I really think that's important. I think it's been key in my success and keeping me accountable. Cause I didn't say that well ago when Tanya asked that question, but really you guys, you guys keep me going. I mean, that's cause when I thought about quitting, people were like, don't quit. We love you. Come back. You're real. You're us. So that would be YouTube. And nobody in my area does that by the way, but I'm always like, you need to do YouTube. Right. And what about, what about a tip for somebody who's struggling with regain? Man, I don't know if I have a tip. I'm just going to say I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I say I say, do your research. And if you're really struggling with regain, I had been telling this to a couple people recently. Do your research. I researched uh, the ketogenic diet for probably six to eight months before I did it because I just kept thinking, you can't do that. We've got a little kid at home. You're constantly gone. You're crazy all the time. Um, but really do your research and really think about it. I really think there's something to it. There's a lot of like health studies in, that go along with that. And there's some good benefits from it. So, okay. That's what I would say. Is there anything that you want to say that I haven't asked you? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do our inside the WLS studio questions. Awesome. Okay. You ready for that? She, Sarah doesn't watch The Naked Truth, so she probably doesn't know what these are. No. I do, too. I have. I've watched, like, five episodes. Not five. I've watched three episodes. Are you I kidding? I have, seriously. Why have you only watched three episodes of The Naked I Truth? I can't help it. I'm busy. <laughs> I have started several. I have started. I'm, I've only watched one live, and that was with Scotty. The rest of them I've watched. After. No, I watched live with uh, Phil. It was on a Saturday. It was, yeah. Yes, okay. that's why. What's your favorite word? Oh, mommy. Yes. <laughs> What's yes how easy is that? No, it's not. And just, it's like you never, you don't realize like when the last time they're going to call you mommy. Oh. Yeah. Yes, because he started to say Sarah already. Sarah? I'm like, I'm not Sarah. Sarah. Well, it's like Sarah? I never knew when my son went from mom, like from mommy to mom. It's like, well, when did that happen? Uh, I'm just so excited that I get to go spend a week with my son. I can hardly contain myself. <laughs> That's so fun. Uh, what? God, I lost the questions. What's your least favorite word? Oh, uh, really? You let me say it. Moist. Why does everybody hate that word? So I don't know. I don't like panties either. And I didn't want to say it together. Cake is moist. Moist cake is good. Not at my house. It's just really soft. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what turns you on creatively, spiritually, or emotionally? Hmm. Am I supposed to answer for all those or just in general? In general. Funny people. I really like people that make me laugh. What turns you off? People that think they know everything and they don't want to even consider other options. That makes me angry. What's your favorite curse word? Fuck. Isn't that everybody's favorite curse word? I have never heard you say that. You said well, actually, I did. I think that's got it, I just thought that was everybody's. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. I was talking I about like crazy ass bitch. bitch. I was talking what did you just say? <laughs> I also really like crazy ass bitch. That's what I said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was, my mom was talking the other day because she's from the South and she's like, you know, nobody says like, bless your heart anymore. I'm like, oh my God, my friend Sarah always says bless, bless. Yes. bless. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's just not living in the right part of the country. That's why. Yeah. Uh, what sound or noise do you love? Oz's giggle. What sound or noise do you hate? Oh God, I don't even know. Um, ooh, Oz screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't talk about crying. I'm talking about screaming for no reason. It makes me want to bash my head in. <laughs> what profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Uh, I would like, you know, I was an early intervention teacher for 10 years. And then um, I quit my job to stay at home. So I'm a stay at home mom. 
So I want to bash my hand in a lot sometimes, but I really would like to go back and I have my undergrad is in speech therapy. I don't have a master's. So in the state of Tennessee, I can't work on my own. I, it would be nice. I need to finish that. My dad keeps talking to me about it. It's not in our budget right now, but maybe one day. So what profession would you not like to do? A doctor. How come? Because I don't want to, I don't know. I don't think I need to be in charge of sick people. Well, you know, my dad's a doctor. And yes. as I've grown up and like talked to him, it's like, you know what? Your bad day at work, your mistake at work is so much worse than mine. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. my dad's a nurse. And right. so he used to always tell me not to marry a doctor because doctors were always unhappy. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I don't know if that's true because I know some doctors that aren't unhappy, but I do think like you're saying, if they have a bad day, they have a really bad day. It's like I make a mistake and it's not that big of a deal. Trust me. Right. Right. You make a mistake in a medical setting and it's a much bigger deal. Yes. Uh, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Ooh, he's going to say, I'm just, I'm just, I want him to say, I'm so glad I'm here. I just want to be, I just want to make it. I don't care what he says to me when I get there. As long as I make it, I, he could just hug me or not say anything. High five. I don't care. Okay. So, um, I'm going to tell you guys some of the guests we got booked because I had been kind of slacking on that before I do that. I just want to say, Sarah, what a valuable contributor you are to this community. <laughs> Stop. And I mean, you are so sweet and you are so authentic and you show up every, you show up all the time. And I just think that's important. I think it's so important for people to see that so many people stop making videos when they, you know, hit their goal weight and everything's like ecstatically wonderful. And then you never see them again. And so all of us who it takes a little bit longer than 33 weeks to get to their goal <laughs> need to see other people who are keep, who continue to fight that fight. So I just want to say thank you. Thank and, you. And I love you. And, love you. um, uh, okay. And so I booked a bunch of guests this weekend. So I want to tell you what we got going. There will be no show next week because it's labor day and I will be in South America and Jennifer will be doing something fun. Um, but on September 11th, Christian Haney will be the guest for the first That's time. That's going to be good. Without her husband, Jim, and she also, she came back from Nashville with this huge commitment to getting back on track, and she has She is doing it, too, man. So, so looking forward to that. On September 18th, we're having Caitlin's VSG journey on. Um, September 25th, um, Catherine Dodson, Sister Scaleback, is going to be on with Jennifer Bleacher. Aww. I'm going to be in uh, New York that week. October 2nd, I was going to do, before I realized it was OH, I was going to kind of do like a virtual bridal shower for Lindsay fly but that's the only day that worked for her and it's OH and I just know it's not going to happen and I don't want to put that kind of stress on me when I'm having people stay here and stuff like that so maybe we'll get that uh later okay and a lot of you new people aren't going to know who this is but I'll post this channel so you can go back and watch it because I think we have so few men and I think he has a very interesting perspective on uh, October 9th we're going to have Chris or Gucci Gucci monster on. Um, I'm excited about that too. Yeah, October 16th. And you guys might not know, the newer people might not know who this person is, but she is so awesome. And I will post her channel too. Her uh, YouTube channel was Fat Bottom Girl, Jennifer Brandman. She hasn't made videos in a while, but she is amazing. And she has like the cutest husband ever. I'm sorry, Andrew, Wendy Allison's husband, but I think Jennifer's husband is maybe cuter. Um, <laughs> That's not hurtful at all. No, sorry. October 23rd, Takesha Positive Girl Gets Fit is going to be I on. Can't wait. October 30th, Lisa VSG English from Australia is going to be on. Oh, that'll be good. Uh, November 6th, C. Jane Shrink is going to be on. She's a newer person. I don't know. And, okay, November 13th, this person does not make videos, but she has been such an amazing commenter. And she only had surgery recently, but I just really want to hang out with her. And so that's why I wanted to book her. And that's Wendy Allison, who's also from Australia. So if you guys have thoughts on other people you would like to see, please let me know. I have another list I'm going out with to fill up for the rest of the year. We're also working on getting um, uh, 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 Dr. Weiner, uh, Matthew Weiner, and Carney uh, Wilson on. Those will, probably, those will probably be special shows, like during at a different time than our regular Sunday shows. So 
yeah, I'm back. We're back. The Naked Truth will be back in full force after Labor Day. And um, I love you guys. And I love you, Sarah. Thank you. I love you too. Thanks for having me. Thrilled.